his way to the hoop, goes up, shot rejected by KJ. KJ's having the loose ball, crosses over by Johnson, down the paint, bounces off Eddie to the rim with a slam with the right hand. Again, right side, Luke O'Brien open for three, fires right between the eyes from downtown. Eddie against Mia under the basket, behind the back, pass taken by De Silva. He makes the crowd, layup is up and good. Who is that big man out well, there? Well, there's some highlights of the CU men's basketball team. They got the split on the road last weekend against Washington and then a loss at Washington State. Back in the bubble of Stampede, voice of the bus, Mark Johnson. We come to you from Corelli's. We're out here Monday nights from 7 until 8 o'clock. Hooking up with the head coach, Tad Boyle, talking about his buffs after the split, heading to Utah this weekend. Powered by Ford. Cars, trucks, and SUVs built for America. Built Ford proud. Buffs get a heck of a win over Washington last Wednesday. Boy, that seems like a long time ago. I know. Last yeah. Wednesday. Yeah, and then I had mean, a... No doubt. Yeah, and then <laughs> a, a street fight on Saturday afternoon yeah. uh, in, in Pullman, Washington. Which one do you want to talk about first? Well, well you talk about whatever you want. I'm, I'm, just, I'm, just, uh, I'm just here for the ride, Mark. Right. I'll just follow your lead right. like I always do. Sure. <laughs> yeah, well, the like... most recent game is the, always the one that sticks with you. And that, yeah, I, you're, I think that's exactly right, the street fight mentality. And, and we knew that going in. We didn't handle it very well. You know, physicality with this team sometimes gives us problems with – especially uh, a couple of our players, but um, our guys fought. They really did battle. It's just we didn't play well enough. I didn't realize it until uh, we were on the plane coming back, and the, the great thing about those plane trips, you get to watch it again, you know, <laughs> uh, as a coach anyway. Yeah, it does is, seem like you're sitting up there oh, like you're yeah. just going through hell, though, as yeah, you're watching Yeah, thing. I'm in my own world, yeah. and, and the people with their headphones around me. <laughs> all of a sudden, I got nobody to talk to. You're quite animated as you watch those games. Yeah, it's so frustrating. <laughs> oh, my God, it's so frustrating because it's just, you know, you see what you're, you're right there. Yes. And uh, we just... We just weren't good enough. We weren't tough enough against uh, Washington State and because they're a tough team. And we knew yeah. going in, like, rebounding, limiting them to one shot was going to be key because they're so physical. And, you know, they outscore us 16-4 to four on, on second-chance points. And to me, that's the ball game. And, yeah. and uh, so – but our guys fought and they scratched and they clawed. They just – we weren't good enough. We shot 37.5% inside the three-point line. Wow. We shot 41% outside the yes. three-point line. So what that tells me is, like, our mid-range, our at-the-rim finishes, uh, they weren't good enough. I mean, offensively. I mean, Missed not, a lot. Uh, quite a good number of at-the-rim. Yeah. Uh, but, shots. again, they, they, they contest. They yeah. lead the, uh, the conference and block shots, and, and they contest things. So, um, you know, and, it's again, you come off a, a win at Washington, Mark, where you scored 90, what, 96, 98, 90, 98 points 98. on the road. I mean – I'm not sure we've scored 98 points in the road since I've been here. If we have, I, I can't remember it. But uh, we always talk about, hey, you got to prepare for nights when the ball doesn't go in, when you're not shooting the ball well, which happened on Saturday against Washington State. And, again, it gets back to our defense being uh, good but not great um, and not good enough when we needed to be good enough to get stops. So um, down the stretch, they, they, uh, they made plays we didn't. And it was, again, with one minute to go, I go back to the Cal game, I go back to the Arizona State game, and now we can go back to the Washington State game. One minute to go, it's a three-point game, and we can't get a stop. And yeah. you know, we missed some, miss some opportunities offensively, missed a couple free throws, and there you have it. How do you Come view this league right now? I mean, up top, it is just a jumbled well, mess. Nobody has separated yeah. themselves at this Look, point. Look, when you see Oregon State beat Arizona, yeah, you know anybody can beat anybody. So, like, on any given night, like, nothing – we can't take anything for granted, just like Washington State. And I'm not saying our guys took Washington State for granted. It's just they, they you know, Washington State was picked, I think, you know, ninth or tenth, maybe yeah. eleventh, and right. they're they're tied with us, you know, for second place. And and both uh, Oregon and, and Arizona have three losses. We get a chance to play them both down the stretch. That game against Washington State to me was a separation game. It could have put us seven and three. Tied for first place, but we're not. We're six and four. We're tied for second, and uh, we're looking up. Anytime you're looking up, you know uh, the next game is an opportunity to separate yourself. And we're halfway through this thing. At least we are. Some teams have only played nine games. We played ten. Uh, we got as good a chance as any, you know, as we come down the stretch here. I really believe there's not a team or a game on our schedule that I look at and say. Right. We can't win that game. Ted and I talked about this in a pregame. I don't know if you guys saw this over the weekend. ESPN Game Day did a segment of why it's so hard to win on the road in college basketball right now. Uh, the major conferences in a country, not one conference in men's basketball had a winning road record over the 
last month. Not yeah. one. Yeah. Uh, in the top ten of the country, the winning percentage so far this season on the road against unranked teams is 38%. Think about that for a second. Yeah. And, and uh, you and I both think it goes back to the COVID extension. COVID extension. And then transfer. Transfer portal. Yeah. And you you name it, and uh, it's the parity in our sport is 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 as good as it's ever been. Side deck for three, right between the eyes from downtown. There was the head coach on Buffs prime time out here at Corelli's getting ready for the Utes this weekend. That's a three o'clock game on Saturday in Salt Lake City. Scott and I are going to hit the air at two thirty with the Bubbly Stampede pregame show on the Colorado Basketball Network in Denver. You can listen on eight fifty KOA. Coming up next here on the Bubbly Stampede, we're going to talk women's basketball. J.R. Payne and the CU women on the road for the second week in a row.